Graphical direction. It will be important to note that we read a graph in the same way we read the English language, from left to right. Given a function f and an interval with endpoints x1, f of x1, and x2, f of x2, then the graph will be increasing on the interval x1, x2 if f of x2 is bigger than f of x1. The graph will be decreasing on that interval if f of x2 is smaller than f of x1, and it will be constant on that interval if both outputs are the same. Using the given graph, we want to identify the intervals where the function is increasing, decreasing, and constant. We'll use parentheses on our answers since we cannot be decreasing at a point. Since each output is the same as the one before it from negative five to negative three, this is our interval that is constant. After this, each output is bigger than the last until we get to x equals zero. So negative three zero is an interval where we are increasing. After this, each output is smaller than the last. So zero to two is an interval where we are decreasing. You can now spot intervals where a graph is increasing, decreasing, or constant. The definitions you learned in this video could also be applied to functions represented as tables and equations.